Most children in Gaza have witnessed shootings. Most children in Gaza have seen a missile attack destroy homes. Most children in Gaza have been tear gassed, according to a Canadian university study. They are another generation traumatized by war, facing the daily reality of living under Israeli occupation. 16-year-old Mohammed is one of the dozens of children that were injured during the recent Israeli incursion into Gaza. At least 29 children were killed by Israeli forces in the five-day assault. He has flashbacks of the moment when he saw his friend being killed and when he was lying in the ambulance with his friend's amputated legs over his chest because there wasn't any space to put them anywhere else. It still gives him nightmares. <laughs> I remember when they put their legs on me and when the missiles hit. I'm sad because I'm not going to play football with the kids anymore. I'm not going to go to school. I'm just going to sit here bored. Muhammad's father says his son will probably never walk again. One of the most striking things about Gaza is the sheer number of children there are wherever you look. In fact, half the population here are under the age of 18, so it's little wonder that it's usually them that bear the brunt of this brutal conflict. According to leading psychiatrists, three-quarter of Gaza's children suffer from anxiety and nightmares. An acute post-traumatic stress disorder amongst children in Gaza is at its highest level ever right now. The most common uh, symptoms we are seeing is insomnia, which is sleep, uh, children unable to sleep, uh, loss of concentration, fears. And the long-term effects may be even more dangerous. I expect after 10 years will be more fighting, more delinquency in these children. So our prediction that these children will be more affected with chronic post-traumatic stress disorder, delinquency, aggressive behavior. Most children in the world don't have to live with the constant sound of fighter jets above them that could drop a deadly missile at any time. Most children don't grow up with a battlefield as their playground. All of Gaza's children do. Shireen Tadros Al Jazeera, Gaza.